everybody and welcome back to another YouTube video. Today we will be going through all of my water type cards. Um, for those of you who are new to the channel, this is a series, this is part 3. Like I said in my last episode of this, if you haven't watched. Um, this, you don't need to watch the past episodes to get the gist of what I'm doing. But the last in the past two episodes, the last episode I covered my normal or colourless cards. Then in the first part episode thingy, I covered dark, fairy, fairy psychic. I said that because one of them was dual type and a fight and fighting. So yeah, if you want to see any of those typings, please don't forget to go back and watch those. And yeah, let's get on with the video. Let's go. Okay. So the uh, first four cards that I'm going to show you are Spanish print. So if they do look fake, you know why. They've also been translated into English. First, we have a Gary a Garrigan. Quite cool. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just gonna laugh at this because it, one of its moves is Bubble Beam. Like, who has a Gyarados that moves Bubble Beam? Yes, Bubble Beam is a relatively decent water move, but still, who has a Gyarados that learns that? Mm, I probably would. Um. Anywho, that's that done. Next, we have a Pullywag. It is also a water type. I am not gonna specify the type. Because this is literally the water type video. It makes sense. Anywho, here we have Poliwag that learns what again. I would have had a Gyarados that learns what again. Not Bubble Bean. I'm saying that water gun is pretty puny. Hmm. Who cares? Still won't have it. Next up, we have my favourite water type starter. Even though I have Popio! Prim Primarina is really cool. No, I don't have anything over there, I just walked away. Anyway, Popio, the best water starter. The, the best grass starter would probably be Strico. Yes. And Fire would probably be Del um, Fennekin. Um. Sorry, I'm just laughing at something funny I just remembered. And here we have Pestoise. Yes, I feel like the dramatic entrance was necessary. Here we have a Blastoise. A very majestic Blastoise. Yay for Blastoise. Okay. Now, we have a rare, I want to say. <laughs> Holo Clawitzer. Yes. Is it Clawitzer or Claw? Yes, yeah, Clawitzer. This is a holo. There's another holo. Yes, there is. But it's not this one. It's not the next one that comes up. There's like a slight difference there. One sec. I don't know if you can see it, but there's like little water droplets. There we go. So, yeah. Here we have a regular rare Bruxish. You can look at that while I quickly compare the two patterns. Yeah, they're slightly different. Here we go, here's a Bruxish. English. Bruxish. I can't say its name. Bruxish. Brookfish. Called Brookfish now. Yeah. Um, here we have a Stoyu. Now, the pattern on this is a tiny bit different to a Clawitzer. Star you is pretty cool, actually. Star me. Mm -hmm. Don't get me started. I think it needs to die. Here we have the what? Oh, she was so cute. I wish the was twice as cute. Ooh, that would be a good idea. Here's the what? I know it's razor shell. Okay. 
I feel like I'm rushing through those a tiny bit. I'll go into detail of the ones that I know quite a bit about. Here we have a elder. Quite cool, evolves into cloister using a Vatterstone. Here we have a common. A common? I would have thought this would have been an uncommon. And I believe it's from Steam Siege. Yes, it is. Um, Mantike evolves in the coolest of ways in the games. You actually need to have a Remoroid in your party as a little bitty thingy there is a Remoroid. It's the initial for the circle of life. Yes. Mantine is really cool. Um, Meryl. I actually have a shiny Azumara. Oh, is that in here? What did I put that in? Seriously, where is that? You know what, I'll find it later. Oh, I think I know where it would be. <laughs> Here we have a Lapras. We cool. Now we have a Tentacool, which evolves from a Tentacool. Simipole, the one of the three monkeys, elemental monkeys. Hello, and Vulpix. <laughs> I love my tail, this is the best. All I know. Uh, then we have a Rel Camp, nothing to it. Ooh, an Araquanid. Splash, splash, I was taking a bath. This time I'm gonna tell you tonight. Splash, splash, taking a bath. Don't know why I started saying that. I'm crazy. Here we have a uh, Xena. Yes, I call this thing Xena, don't judge. It's actually an Araquanid. It was from a Deep Hider. Which we'll cover in the last episode of this series. Because that's where all the grass types are. Manjit. Here we have another shelter. A Panpaw. Which is another elemental monkey. Which evolves from Simipaw. Yeah, I just lost your card, don't judge. Um... I can tell you what the three elemental monkeys are. Pansage, Pansia, and Pampor. Each one, Pansage, grass, Pansia, fire, and Pampor. What? Then there's Simi Sage, a wall from Pansage. Simi Sia, wall from Pansia. And I can't remember. Oh, Simi Paw, which is from Pampor. Same types. And finally, we have. I will do a, a reveal. A slow bro. I actually have. Not too sure about slow bro. Slow poke, but I've got a slow king and a slow bro card. Definitely. Because I just showed you that. So, quick recap of what we've gone through. Last toys. Wrong one. <laughs> um. Uh, Gyarados, Poliwag, Poplio, Blastoise, Hollow Clawitzer, Brookfish, Staryu, Dewot, Shelda, Mantine, Maril, Lapras. Tentacool, Simipore, Alone and Vulpix, Relicant, Araquanid, Shelda, Pampo, and Slowbro. So that is it. Ooh. Mm, no, I'm not going to do that. Also, we have a water energy. I didn't show any of the fighting energies because they're basically the same as this, only with the fighting logo in it. Same with Psychic and all of the others. It's kind of confusing. Um, kind of helpful in the TCG. I'm not saying that I've played it. Anywho, don't forget to leave a like, comment, what your favourite water type Pokemon is from that, and subscribe. All the typical things that a YouTuber, human, alien, whatever YouTubes are, do. 
And yes, I will see you in the next video. Goodbye!